and Assalamualaikum with me Cikgu Azrini Science Year 3 Unit 7 Density So today we are going to learn about the applications of a density in life Applications of a density in life okay, You may refer your textbook page 102 in our daily life, uh, you have uh, probably uh, already encountered uh, one of the important practical applications of density. Maybe even without knowing. Kadang-kadang, uh, uh, konsep density ni ada dalam kehidupan seharian. Tapi kita yang tak sedar. So, what are the applications of a density in life? Okay, look at the, these uh, ships and anchor. Ships and anchor are made of iron. A ship floats on the surface of the water, but an anchor sinks. Why? Okay, you look at this uh, ship, the ship floats, and this anchor sinks. An iron ship, okay, uh, both of this uh, ship and anchor, they are made of iron. An iron ship floats in an ocean because although iron is a denser than water, most of the ship's interior is filled with air, reducing the vessel's density overall. So, this uh, ship actually they has a lot of air space so they can float on the surface of water they are less dense than water okay but this anchor sinks because it is more dense than water the anchor is made up from iron a solid block of iron so it would sink like a stone Okay, there is no air space okay, in this anchor. So, this anchor is more dense than water. Then it will sink. Okay, the applications of uh, density are also important in uh, provide uh, safety to humans and also in the farming uh, industry. Okay, how is a density applied in the above situations? So, the first one, the life jacket, and then a fish farming enclosures. Okay, a life jacket, however, is made of a lightweight form that weighs much less than the average weight density of human beings. As a result, when a person is wearing a life jacket, the person afloat. The life jacket is less dense than water. So, it can help us, it can prevent us from drowning. And then, uh, look at this uh, fish farming enclosures. Okay, it floats on the surface of water. So, the uh, people or the person in charge in this industry, they should know the concept of density. Okay, the floating and the sinking object. Okay, next, your science project. Okay, dancing egg shells. What you need to do? The first step. Put vinegar and crush egg shells into a bottle and immediately screw on the bottle cap tightly. Okay, tuangkan uh, cuka dan uh, kulit telur ke dalam uh, botol air dan kemudian terus tutupkan botol air tersebut. Number two, shake the bottle and observe the changes that take place. Okay, jadi awak kena uh, goncangkan lepas dah tutup botol tu, goncangkan. Dan tengok apa perubahan yang berlaku. Okay, so I want you to do this science project. You may refer your textbook page 103. 
Okay, now your science activity book, page 67 and 68. Let's do this together. Page 67, as a usual, you need to write the date. Application of density. Aisha puts uh, some ping pong balls into the aquarium. These ping pong balls uh, do not sink in the water. Okay, these ping pong balls uh, don't uh, sink in the water. Number one, answer the following questions. Why do the ping pong balls float on the surface of the water? So if you look here, the ping pong ball uh, float. So when you want to give a reason why, you must relate with the density. Ping pong ball is less dense than water. Okay, It is because ping pong ball is less dense than water. And then, Suggest an object that will sink when placed into Aisha's aquarium and why. Okay, you need to give example of uh, the objects that will sink when we put in the aquarium. And you must give reason. Okay, think of the object that will sink. Okay, I give you example. Marble. It is because marble is more dense than water. Or you can uh, give other examples that you know. Okay, But make sure the object will sink. Number two, look at the picture and complete the sentence below. A life boy can help a safe life because... It can float on surface of water as it is less dense than water. So life boy can prevent people from drowning. Next, uh, page uh, 68. Water becomes more dense. Lim conducts activities A and B as shown below. So this is activity A. Okay, Lim uh, put A in water. And then activity B, he add uh, some salt, stir the salt, and look what happened to the egg. Okay, number one. Okay, answer the following questions. Number one, observe activity A. Compare the density of water and the egg. Okay, so... Uh, look at this activity A. Uh, tengok activity A sahaja. Okay, compare the density. Egg is more dense than water. Okay, because you look here. The egg is uh, sinking, right? Telur tenggelam. So, egg is more dense than water. Okay, number two, observe activity B. So, now you observe activity B. Okay, Lim put uh, some salt in the water and then stir the salt and look what happened. Uh, the egg float on the surface of water. So, number two, uh, observe activity B and then why does the egg float? Okay, the question asks you to give reason. Why does the egg float? So you must relate with the density. The egg float because it is more dense than water. And then, how does the water become more dense? So here, you write your own answer. And then number three, take objects that make water more dense. Okay, so... Choose the correct answer. Tick the answer, okay? So that's all. Thank you and see you again in our next lesson. Have a great day.